What is going on you guys? Welcome back, you greasy little goblins, to the next episode of the Grace Guide series. So now we are finally getting down to the last few graces. So if you guys don't already know, this is a, I guess, guide series that I've been doing on my channel for the past couple days now, trying to figure out which of these graces are good, worth getting, and which of them are just hot ass and that you should fully avoid. So if you guys haven't checked out the other videos already, go and check those out and make sure you guys subscribe to the channels for the upcoming ones later. And once we're done with this, we're going to get back on that PvP train and we're gonna make some great builds. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So, for the grace that I chose to do this time, it's going to be the grace of Shao Hao the White Emperor. So the four main buffs that are on it is going to be enemy stats effect accumulation plus 6.8%. Metal Phase Spell Spear Consumption minus 2.4%. That's whatever, that's kind of low. Ignore that one. The third one is going to be Slow on Enemy upon using a Martial Arts, which that's kind of cool, but a lot of people haven't realized this, that there's actually different slow values in the game. So the Martial Art Slow that you can get from specifically this one or even some of the other ones, like in Embedments, it actually doesn't slow that much, so some people think that it doesn't do anything, versus some of the spells, you can really see them slow. So, just so you guys know, there are different values to everything on there, and they are stackable, so you're able to stack multiple slows on an opponent to make them even slower. Alright, anyways, and then for the very last one that you get, it's going to be damage to enemies with negative effects plus 7.9%, that is fat, especially pairing it with the slow on enemy upon martial arts hits. That's a negative effect right there, so then now you're doing almost 8% more damage just for hitting someone with a martial art. And now for the main grace itself, it's going to be the subtlety of metal grace. It has a requirement of at least 70 metals, so make sure you guys turn that on before going into this. And what it does is when you successfully deflect a critical blow, subtlety of metal phase will be inflicted on the enemy target. So that's the big red attacks that the boss tries to do on you. You deflect it, then it puts the fully permanent debuff on them until they die, and it cannot be removed in any way. So what does this debuff do? It's actually very simple but very strong. It reduces the HP damage dealt so the boss doesn't hit you as hard. Normal attack spirit gain so anytime they hit you, it will take them more hits to gain their spirit back. And it increases the HP damage they receive, meaning we actually hit them harder. So, essentially what this debuff does is it makes them weaker, so they do less damage, and it makes us hit them harder. And since it's a permanent debuff, that makes it a perfect boss killer. So as long as you're good at deflecting their critical attacks, you got this one in the bag. So then, what exactly are the damage increase that you do when the debuff is applied? So looking here, every time I'd use a basic attack, it hits for around 63 damage. Once I deflect the boss's critical strike and apply the debuff, I now hit for 75 damage, which is a respectable 12 damage increase a hit. It's not the craziest difference in damage, but permanently every hit doing 12 more damage is definitely not something to complain about. Now then, I didn't actually do it in this video because I forgot all about it, because I was more interested in the actual debuff itself, but pair this debuff with one of the other uh, moves that I mentioned earlier, so whenever you use a martial art on them, it applies a negative stats effect of a slow, then you're pairing that with your 9% increase of extra damage against enemies with negative effects, so you're actually doing quite a bit of damage on them with those two paired. So now that we got the damage values out of the way, how is this in PvP? Well, funny enough, you can't actually technically use this in PvP. You can use all the other stats effects, no problem that you get from this. But the actual grace itself, you're not able to use that one because you have to deflect a critical blow, which sadly enough, 
players don't do critical blows. They can do martial arts skills, and they're able to do unblockable heavies, but none of them are actually counted as critical blows. I was letting people use them on me, and it was just, uh, every time I deflected it, it never put a debuff on them, sadly. So, for that, you can't really use this in PvP, or at least there's no point to. So, what do I think about this grace? I think that it is going to be a perfect grace for if you're into boss killing, because using this on any regular enemies going throughout a mission, it's not really going to really do anything, because you're going to kill them before they even get a critical strike off, usually. So, this is really good for bossing, having that extra damage constantly for killing a boss and it's permanent, that is the perfect place to use it. Can't use it in PvP, so that's kind of a big negative because I personally am a PvP person, but using it for boss killing is definitely still a massive plus. So honestly, I think it is actually worth grinding for, because a permanent buff in damage is always good. Do I think it's better than Ling Bao and Deode? Not really, but it's definitely up there. I would, I would definitely put it just right below those two. 100% still would get it myself, honestly. So that's gonna do it for me, you guys. Let me know what you guys think about this Metal Grace, because honestly, I think it's kind of slept on. Nobody really talks about it. But I'm gonna head out now. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the end of this clip, I guess. And have a good one. Peace.